Harris Duquan wants SEC charges dismissed. Court filings show the SEC cannot regulate digital assets involved in the case as the UST stablecoin is a currency, not a security, lawyers for the disgraced crypto executive have said. Featured speaker Christy Goldsmith Romero Commissioner U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission explore the policy fallout from the 2022 market crash, the advance of CBDCs and more. Secure your seat featured speaker Christy Goldsmith Romero Commissioner U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission explore the policy fallout from the 2022 market crash, the advance of CBDCs and more. Secure your seat lawyers for Duke One, founder of collapsed crypto issuer Terraform Labs, have requested a U.S. court to dismiss charges brought against him by the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, partly for lack of jurisdiction. Court filings from Friday show. Guan, who has been on the run from regulators since the collapse of his multi billion dollar crypto enterprise in May 2022, was recently arrested in Montenegro for attempting to travel with falsified documents. Following his arrest, the SEC charged the South Korean national with securities fraud. In the civil action brought against Guan, the regulator failed to prove personal jurisdiction as products referenced by the SEC were available to the world and not directed at U.S. persons, a 47-page supporting document for a motion to dismiss the charges said. It also says that a digital asset involved in the case, the stablecoin UST, does not fall under the purview of the SEC as it is a currency and not a security. Congress has not granted the SEC the power to regulate. Follow the URL for the full article for more on this story. Visit the news article link.